Before I get into it, I just want to say that uh, I apologize for not uploading the other Fossil Fighter videos. Uh, the software I've been using, or not even just the software, uh, the recording software actually has an issue, or all recordings really. Uh, there's another YouTuber, I forgot his name, but he made a Fossil Fighter, Fighter playthrough too. And he essentially had the same problem where Fossil Fighters doesn't want to record properly. Like, he, he specifically mentioned how the audio would cut out or just skip, and I have the same exact issue. Not to mention, I'm dropping, like, like below 30 frames per second when I try and record the game. So I'm actively trying to figure out how to fix that, so I apologize I'm not getting that out. If the audio quality in this video is not that great, I don't have access to a proper microphone at the time. Uh... I apologize for that, I just wanted to get something out and give my opinion on the subject. Um, but I do apologize for being late on the Fossil Fighter videos. I'm actually trying to fix that problem and I have no idea what's causing it. But Boogie2988 is the topic of this video. I should be making an iDubbbz video, but I, I really feel like iDubbbz would retaliate and have his gay fan base attack me. But, either way, that's besides the point. Boogie2988 is a, quote-unquote, the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Or at least that was his YouTube persona, okay? And I don't give a shit who you are. A whole lot of people have given Boogie2988 a lot of hate because his YouTube personality is fake. But I really don't care who you are. If you've done YouTube, you have a fake persona, okay? This persona I put on... I act like I don't give a shit, I act like I, I, I genuinely don't fucking care, and that's not me. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a pretty insecure person, and I'm a constant, I'm like, I, I'm a very anxious person, okay? This, this here is a fucking persona. Everybody who has a YouTube personality is fake as fuck. The personality on YouTube, what you see on YouTube, is fucking fake. Logan Paul is a genuinely shitty fucking person, okay? And that, that shows through his fucking fake-ass personality. Jake Paul is just an annoying asshole. Because at least, at least Jake Paul doesn't fucking laugh at dead bodies. And I don't give a shit if YouTube wants to fucking censor me for that. Because that's just how it is. I don't give a shit if your golden fucking boy makes you a lot of money. He's a piece of shit that literally laughed at a dead man who killed himself. Fuck you, Logan Paul. And I, I literally, I hope Mayweather beats your fucking ass. And I hate Mayweather. Genuinely. I hope Mayweather fucking stomps your teeth in, Logan Paul. But, you know, many rant aside, every personality you see on YouTube is fake. PewDiePie, fake. Markiplier, fake. Jacksepticeye, fake. All of it's fucking fake. And that's not a bad thing, okay? Having a personality and having a persona is a very good thing because it makes you a much more appealing to, you know, people who want to be entertained. It's for entertainment, okay? And Boogie2988 purposely put on a personality of being a very nice person. And, I mean, even when not doing YouTube, Boogie is still a very nice person. And a whole lot of people say, no he's not, Boogie's racist, Boogie's a terrible person, Boogie said this, Boogie said that. Yeah, sure, whatever the fuck you say, dude. Boogie2988 has made jokes, okay, raunchy jokes. I think there was, like, one actually racist joke, but in the end, they're just fucking jokes, okay? And the biggest reason why Boogie has gotten so much hate in the last few years, the reason why people keep making videos like, giving Boogie his reality check, the reason why people do that fucking shit is purely because Boogie2988 is from the old fucking internet, okay? Boogie2988 is from the old internet, uh, he's from Chan culture, you know, image boards and shit. He talks about, you know, posting fucking Tub Girl on fucking image boards because funny, haha, but, like, he's not a shitty person for not censoring himself. A joke is a fucking joke, and if you want to be offended about a joke, no matter what the joke is, racist, sexist, I don't give a shit what it is. You know, one bed for me and the other for the hooker. Haha, -ha, it's a fucking joke, okay? And if you want to be offended by it, that shows that you're an immature little fucking kid, okay? Grow the fuck up. Grow a fucking pair. But most of the fucking hate that Boogie gets these days is purely because Boogie doesn't conform 
when it's not on YouTube. If it's a live stream, Boogie will be himself, okay? I do not give a fuck who you are, what fucking gender studies credentials you fucking have. I don't give a fuck. Jokes are fucking jokes. And if you want to be offended by them, you're a fucking baby. Grow up. But I looked at the, uh, not all of it, but bits and pieces of the uh, mega uh, Reddit thread about Boogie2988, okay? And you can tell by those fucking people in these threads, they're obsessive. It's it's A-logging, genuinely. It's fucking A-logging. It's the same shit you see people do to fucking Chris Chan, okay? And, I'm, and Boogie isn't the new Chris Chan. It's not like Boogie's going out acting like a fucking retard and going, you know, you know, being a fucking creep. You know, thinking that there's alternate dimensions and shit that are going to merge with ours. No. Boogie doesn't fucking do that. Boogie keeps to his fucking self and makes YouTube videos on the occasion. Boogie has had a history of being harassed for simply being fat. Okay? Boogie has a reputation of, of just being harassed for being him fucking self. Even the YouTube personality he's been harassed for. And now he's being harassed for it still. That's what the Reddit mega threat is. It's people that have differing political ideologies from Boogie2988. People who want to censor other people. People who get offended by fucking everything. People who circle jerk about there being sexism, racism, transphobia, homophobia, and fucking everything. It's one big fucking circle jerk about people who want to censor other fucking people because they don't conform to their political ideology. That's what it's about. It's not because Boogie is genuinely a bad person. It's not because Boogie has done something bad. Boogie is for the most part innocent. Has he done bad things? Sure. Has he said some raunchy things? Sure. But in the end, the worst he's done is said jokes and a few stupid things. I, I think like that comment where uh, he said that people were worse than rapists and Nazis. Yeah, I mean that was a little over exaggerated, but at the end of the day, it's not the worst fucking thing. Because in the end, the people he was referring to are literally people who are harassing them, him and other people. These people go out and harass others for having differing opinions from them. And I don't give a shit who you are. You can say, it's not about politics. It's, it's not about censoring people. It's because Boogie's done this and that. No, you're a fucking liar. In the end, you are a fucking liar. Because it is about politics, and it is about censoring people who do not conform to your fucking ideology. You know why, oh, who was it, Anita Sarkeesian or some shit like that? She gave Boogie fucking bullshit. It was some fucking stupid feminist that lost all of her fucking money because she was a fucking retard. But she she gave Boogie fucking shit. Because Boogie didn't fucking silence her. Uh, silence, uh, stay silent to her, okay? Boogie didn't give a shit. Actually, no, Boogie did give a shit. Boogie tried his best not to piss that lady off. But in the end, she still got fucking pissed anyways. The reality is that you cannot satisfy these types of people. You cannot, you know, walking off eggshells isn't going to satisfy these fucking people. Nothing will satisfy them. And you can see that in their, like, even when they group together, you know, they stay in their little hug box communities. They start consuming themselves. These people are live in an eternal victim complex mentality. Where they are always the victim and there was some type of oppressor no matter fucking what. Okay? And in these hug box spaces, these safe spaces they fucking create, they perpetually consume themselves. They turn on themselves. Once they don't have an oppressor to fight, they'll turn everybody into an oppressor. Okay? And that's what Boogie is. Boogie is their new oppressor to some of them. Okay? Boogie said something they didn't like, so now they're going to go out of his way to ruin his fucking life. There was one motherfucker that has caused my reason for making this fucking video in particular who went out of his fucking way. He has a history of harassing people, but he went out of his way to go to fucking Arkansas, go to Boogie's house, and we have the receipts, okay? It's not like I'm making this up. It's not like Boogie made this up. This motherfucker, we have the receipts of this motherfucker actually threatening Boogie with physical violence, okay? We have evidence of him actively coming to his house. We have video and audio recording of this motherfucker being at Boogie's house. We have receipts of him saying that he's going to hurt Boogie2988. We have the receipts. It is not made up. And, and Boogie told him, 
I have a gun and I'm not afraid of you, okay? Boogie told him when he showed up at his fucking door, before he even opened the door, and I want to make sure that I, I get this right because I do not want to fuck it up. But fucking Boogie said, I feel threatened, leave my property. At that point, and to my knowledge, all southern states have very similar gun laws where if you actively feel threatened and somebody's on your fucking property, you have every right to give a warning shot. Every fucking right. And, I, and, and to my knowledge, Boogie didn't even fire the warning shot before opening the, or after opening the door. He fired it before the door was even fucking opened. Okay? Uh, I, I hate giving periods of dead silence because I know that's annoying. Uh... Uh, I don't think I can find it, but yes, Boogie did point the gun at him. I cannot find a video clip of him actually shooting the gun. But as far as I know, Boogie was well within his legal rights to give a warning shot. Okay? When you have somebody actively threatening you physically, and he actually shows up to your door... And, and, you know, this is just kind of a southern state thing. This is just how we roll in the south. This, this is what we do in Dixie, okay? If somebody is talking mad fucking shit... If somebody is talking mad fucking smack... And they come to your house... You square the fuck up. You are either the biggest fucking pussy and you let them do that. Or you square the fuck up. You either go out and beat the fuck out of them... Or you point that barrel right down at him and you tell him, get the fuck off my property. Boogie had every fucking right to use that gun. In, in fact, I kind of wish that Boogie would have get, get, given him a little, little, little lead in the kneecap. But unfortunately, you know, that's not politically fucking correct. Boogie had every fucking right to do that. And, and maybe Arkansas state law differs. But in the end, the motherfucker said he was going to hurt him. The motherfucker showed up at his house. But either way, a year after this incident even happened, um, Boogie's County put a, a warrant out for his arrest, and Boogie turned himself in. But either fucking way, even if the state laws differ from Tennessee, where I'm from, which, you know, we have right to shoot trespassers. If you fuck around on our property, we have a right to shoot you. So you best not fuck with us. But either way, Arkansas, I, and I, I don't keep up with other state laws. I don't really give a shit, because... Dixie. Arkansas state law might differ, but in the end, he showed up to his house, and Boogie had reason to 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 be suspicious of his intentions. Not even suspicious; he knew what his intentions were. But in the end, these people harass people they dis dis dislike, people who don't agree with them. They go out of their way to fuck with them. Some of them show up their fucking house threatening them. The harassment campaign against Boogie is not because Boogie's a bad person. It is purely because he has a differing political and culture, p p politics and culture from these fucking people. And I'm sick of seeing this bullshit. And I'm not some big Boogie fanboy either. I mean, his content's kind of fucking repetitive. But it, 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 it's just ridiculous to see this harassment campaign and everybody fucking bowing down to these people because they don't want to get cancelled themselves but guess fucking what I don't have a YouTube career I don't have a big YouTube fan base okay I have nothing to fucking lose by saying this shit I don't give a shit if I'm fucking cancelled because guess fucking what I don't got none to lose I could kill myself any fucking day and nobody would give a single fuck any any fucking consequences I get from this fucking video would mean fucking nothing because cancel culture don't mean shit to you if you don't give a fuck. And that's why Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers bowed down to the cancel culture. That's why everybody else bowed down to the fucking cancel culture. And I'm, that's not me talking shit about M Mia Mudahar. I like Mudahar. I do. I like his content. I like the, the, the haunted gaming when he used to do that when I was a fucking kid. That's great. I love that shit. That's, it's fantastic. I love Mudahar, okay? He's a fucking Chad. I love that Indian boy. But he bowed down to the cancel culture. And I'm sick of it. Like, I'm genuinely sick of it. The only time cancel culture has power is when people fear it. That's the only way it has power. When you fear cancel culture, it has power. 
When you bow down to it, it has power. And Boogie2988 and everybody talking smack about him and everybody approving of the harassment of the film and everybody, you know, saying that Boogie's such a bad guy, everybody bowing down to the cancel culture feeds into it. And if you don't like that, you're a fucking retard. You are genuinely the lowest of the low. You are some of the worst human scum ever, okay? Cancel culture is not okay. Boogie is not a bad person. Boogie did nothing wrong. Quite literally, did nothing wrong. And I'm sick of seeing this bullshit online. I know you didn't like watching or listening because there's nothing to fucking watch. And I don't give a shit. Thank you for listening to this ASMR of an autistic retard ranting on the internet. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And do. And please fucking do. Please leave a comment about how you hate me so much and how you think my opinion is wrong. Go fuck yourself.